the background of the kidnapping incident, such as when, where and how it happened, and who were the victims and the kidnappers. The incident occurred on Tuesday, May 16, 2023, when a convoy of the U. Embassy was attacked by gunmen in the Odbara local government area of Anambra State in southeast Nigeria. The convoy was carrying five employees of the U. Mission to Nigeria and four members of the Nigeria Police Force, who were on their way to visit AU. Funded Flood Response Project in the area. The assailants opened fire on the vehicles, killing two local workers and two policemen, and setting their bodies ablaze. They also abducted two other police officers and one of the drivers. No you. Citizens were involved in the attack. The motive behind the attack is unclear, but some sources have suggested that it could be linked to the separatist violence that has been plaguing the southeastern region of Nigeria for years. Anambra is one of the epicenters of the agitation for an independent state of Biafra by some groups who claim to be marginalized by the federal government. The attackers have not been identified or arrested yet, but the Nigerian authorities have launched a manhunt for them and vowed to bring them to justice. The U. State Department has also condemned the attack and said that its personnel in Nigeria were working with the country's security agencies to investigate it. The Nigerian police launched a massive manhunt for the kidnappers who attacked a U.S. embassy convoy on Tuesday, killing seven people and abducting two embassy staffers. The attack took place along Atani slash Osamala Road in Odbara local government area of Anambra State, a region that has suffered a surge in separatist violence in recent years. According to the police spokesperson, DSP Tachukwu Akina, the Joint Security Forces deployed intelligence and surveillance teams to track down the whereabouts of the kidnappers and their victims. They also collaborated with the U.S. government and other security agencies to ensure a successful rescue operation. The police faced several challenges in their pursuit of the kidnappers, who were armed and dangerous. They had to navigate through difficult terrain and avoid ambushes and booby traps set by the criminals. They also had to deal with the possibility of harming the hostages or provoking a violent response from the kidnappers. Despite these challenges, the police managed to locate and storm the hideout of the kidnappers in the early hours of Friday, May 19, 2023. They engaged in a fierce gun battle with the kidnappers and overpowered them. They rescued the two remaining victims unhurt and arrested two members of the Transnational Kidnap Syndicate. They also recovered weapons and ammunition from the scene. The police hailed the rescue operation as a major achievement and a demonstration of their commitment to protect lives and property in Nigeria. They commended the cooperation and support of the U.S. government and other security agencies in the operation. They also expressed their condolences to the families of those who lost their lives in the attack and assured them of justice. 